All right, continuing the overdrive quest. Uh, here we have the Sur Eclipse and the Sinaic Audio Talos. Before I start this, I should uh, point out a potential conflict of interest. And I think it's because the pedal on the left, the Talos, is one that I used to make and sell. It's not. Uh, because I could not find anyone to make the uh, custom chassis anymore after the previous manufacturer uh, closed up shop. Uh, I just couldn't afford to have a thousand made of them. Um, I got out of the pedal business. So uh, these are not something that I sell or plan to sell again, though I would be interested in uh, maybe licensing it to a, a good company if anyone out there is watching and interested. It's a lot of demand for these. They go for insane, insane prices on YouTube, I'm oh, no, sorry, eBay and Reverb. Uh, I think much, you know, much higher than they should. The actual conflict of interest is the Sur, um, and it's uh, one where uh, John Sur, uh, you know, we're friends, we're Facebook friends. Um, I, we don't hang out. He lives in California. I live in Memphis, but I've always really looked up to him. And when I started out doing this, he was very kind to me and took took a lot of time to give me tips and, and help me out. So I'm always inclined to like a Sur product and to, if anything, I'm biased in Sur's favor. Uh, I don't get paid to do this. If you like it or if you dislike it, uh, uh, you know, I, I have not even turned this on, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. But I am inclined to like uh, Sur products and many of his stuff uh, that I a lot of this stuff that I've used is fantastic. Um, so if I have any confirmation bias, it's in the Sur's favor here. I you know, obviously like my own thing, otherwise I wouldn't have made it. Um, but, you know, this is to show uh, two different dual boosts, so to speak. And I'm using the Les Paul into a deluxe reverb. And uh, this is none of this is paid promotion. None of the pedals that I have done in this little series have been sent to me for free. Neither have I bought them. I have a friend who owns a music store, so the ones I'm, I've been trying out are ones he has in stock and has been gracious enough to let me check out. One of the nice things about working through the shop and having a relationship is I don't have to test them out um, in, the, uh, in the guitar store. I can take them home and use them with my amps. But anyway, Les Paul, Deluxe Reverb, set clean. Here's the sound of the amp by itself. We'll do the Sur first, because Eclipse is alphabetically before Talos, and here's the clean sound. Les Paul can be pretty dark. Let's start on the bridge. So there's a blue channel and a red channel, and I don't know what the difference is. Let's start with the blue, just in case it's lower gains. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's rude.
All right, from what I'm hearing, this is a much more modern sounding pedal than what I'm looking for, and it really imposes its own character, maybe on a very loud, very clean amp. Um, Fender Twin, Sir PT100 clean channel, maybe. This thing would do a bit more of what it was designed for. I find using it for an overdrive to an already interesting sounding amp, or at least an amp that has a certain bit of grit to it already. It's getting better. It's finicky to dial in. I would still characterize that as more of a distortion pedal than an overdrive. Let's see what the red channel does. Sounds thicker. Let's see if that's just the setting differences. What is the difference between the blue and the red? Again, I didn't read any of the literature or watch any videos on these things. I wanted to come to it blank slate. I think they're identical channels, and I just have the controls slightly different from each other. What happens? Can you stack them? Okay, no, it doesn't stack, but you can go between either or none. That's that's a nice feature. So you could set, say, this one more as an overdrive, and this one more as a distortion. So.
That's an interesting pedal and it's really well built and executed. It is doing something that I don't need a pedal to do, but if you are looking for more metal or modern hard rock sounds, that's pretty badass. Let's see how mine does. All right, mine is a very different take on uh, multifunction pedals. It has four different sounds. So there's the clean but buffered if this little push button is in then it's pure gain which is just an absolute clean boost and this knob controls that So that's as transparent a clean boost as, as I think can be made. It's very nice analog devices, op amps, uh, uh, the rail to, uh, 30 volts rail to rail uh, supply. Uh, this, at no point does the uh, guitar signal ever pass through electrolytic. It's all film caps. If I take this button out, this goes into soft drive mode, in which case this doesn't do much. There's a little trim pot for dirt to adjust the level, and there's a tone and an output level. And that tone is not supposed to make it dark just kind of shapes the pick attack. Now, if you have the drive side on and you turn on boost, it defaults to soft drive, no matter the position of the switch. And I did that both to give a solo boost and also so that if you're playing a bridge single coil on a Strat and you boost the gain, it, the gain will respond more like it has a humbucker from a Les Paul. This is a Les Paul, so that's not really that necessary, but let me show you the drive, which has two different voices and some uh, options. So it has voice one, voice two. Voice, the voice you're hearing right now is asymmetrical diode clipping. This is germanium diodes. There's a high cut, which was engaged. Here's without it. And with it. A little more focused, especially if you're playing in a, into a fender that has a bright cap, that high cut can take away that pain. This one doesn't have one, so I'll leave it out. The low cut, which is engaged now, I'm gonna take it out. Here's the low cut out, neck on the less ball. Low cut engaged. out and the frequency I did that at just as coincidentally the exact uh, high pass frequency that you get with the uh, treble channel on a Marshall so it has lots of lows but it doesn't flub if you're doing higher gain stuff so 
with no low cut. Low cut. If I turn the drive up, you'll hear the difference in the voice more, so. There's germanium. Here's the solid state, uh, regular diodes. For really loud stuff, there's a difference in the harmonic levels and uh, how feedback and sustain works. At lower volumes like this, it's a, a mid shift that you mostly hear. Also a little bit less gain with the voice out. And there's a lot of gain here. And I voiced it so as the gain increases, it gets thicker. Turn the gain down a bit. It's not quite as, as full. I want it to still sound like the amp that was being overdriven. Forgive the occasional right hand flubs, I'm still getting used to having Gibsons again after being Fender only for so many decades. You can also use this just to boost the input of an amp with a low, low drive. You still have the high and low cut even with the drive down. So I want it to be versatile and as far as the tone circuit for this goes, I was never thrilled with the tapers available. I would like that to be a more graceful transition from the real bright stuff to the uh, more subtle stuff. Uh, but, you know, in practice, very few people want that. And there's a wide range of fine control in the sweet spot. And I didn't want it to go too dark because that's what you have these for on the guitar. <laughs> And then if you boost that, right you forget where the, you're, you started from there's also a solo level trim pot if you wanted this to get louder than this will do by itself because this is boosting the signal feeding the gain but that solo level adjusts the output of the gain so you can have it even louder if you want Have that solo boost by itself. So between pure gain soft drive gain with the various voicings and boosted. And 
and this is through a Dolex Reverb. I have come to reconsider my premise in all this. Um, I had forgotten how much I liked this pedal because I just haven't used it in so long. I, I honestly got very discouraged about it once I could no longer get enclosures. And uh, I just kind of let it gather dust because it was very sad that I could no longer make these things, which I put a lot of time and effort into. And then I'd see people selling them for insane prices on eBay and think I should have held on to some to sell as used ones. But um, I may contact some people I know in the industry to see if any company would like to pick up this design and just give me a license or something. Because uh, I just don't have the, the funds to make these and they really are good. And especially when it came out that David Grissom was using one, which is a hell of a compliment. Uh, people wanted them and I just couldn't couldn't get the enclosures so it's it's been a, a frustrating thing I think for my own needs I don't need another overdrive pedal I think I need this and I think I'm gonna roll one of uh, the germanium treble boosters that I've made in the past here's what that looks like and I think between stacking the treble booster and this I'll be thrilled this one um, cards on the table can pop when you when you have both on and you uh, leave the boost mode. That's not that loud, but it's bothersome. You know, if you have it in soft drive mode all the time, in you know, pure gain, it can be a little bit louder. If you have it in soft drive already, it's a little bit quieter. Um, but honestly, that's only happening when you're using both channels, and it's so loud that in practice, it doesn't get heard. And if you're doing a critical recording session, you can always overdub it. But live, that disappears. That's certainly a, a, a equivalent to the popping that the Eclipse did a little bit, and the Majestic does, certainly quieter than the popping the GTO and the uh, animal did. So while not perfect, I would love to get rid of that last bit of pop if I ever revisit this. And uh, I wish the taper was slightly different up in this area on that. I think I did a good thing and I'm just gonna have to live with it. And it certainly works with Vox's and Marshall's as well.